Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. It's an exciting morning because we are headed into downtown. We're going to the CTV News Studios because I'm being interviewed about my 31,000 steps a day for Colon Cancer Awareness Month on their live breakfast news or their morning news and I'm actually being interviewed alongside my oncologist which when they booked it they didn't know that the expert they picked was actually my doctor so that's kind of a cool little coincidence so I don't really know what to expect I did have an interview last week but that wasn't a live interview that was in my apartment that was with global news so this is a separate news network and it's going to be live so hopefully I don't trip over my words I've got Ty with me like I said headed into downtown we need to be there for 7.50 for an 8.10 interview and then I'm actually going to walk home from downtown which is about a 60 minute walk because I'll already be quite behind on steps as I spent most of this morning just getting ready and then flying out the door so I think I've only got a couple of thousand uh, and then Ty and I are hopefully gonna fit in a yoga class today I've really neglected my other modalities of exercise because this has been taking up so much of my time but I want to try and get a it's a short yoga class I want to try get a yoga class in today because my body feels so good for it so we shall see hopefully I'm doing okay on the old step front but definitely had to prioritize any time allocated towards obviously getting the steps in anyway we will take you along with what we get up to Ty's gonna try and fill some clips but yeah we'll see if we're allowed to Also, just as a side note, I cannot wear my wedding or my engagement ring at the moment on my hand because I hurt my finger at netball. I'm always talking about netball injuries. I hurt my finger at netball. The ball kind of landed on the tip. And so you probably can't see as much, but the knuckle is still really swollen. So anytime I try to get it on, it, it just won't go on. And then on top of that, my finger's always swelling up from all the walking. So just for now, if you see that I'm not wearing my wedding ring, it's just because Ty doesn't really care. It's just because it doesn't fit. Um, but <laughs> it will. It will fit soon. This will take a little bit of time to go down with the swelling. But Ty actually got a little bit fancy and ordered an oat milk caramel latte. Oat milk? Mm -hmm. Like caramel latte. I just got a regular old oat milk latte. We have run out of coffee and we are going to... Should I say that we got our permanent residence in? When you just did? <laughs> well, I was going to edit it out, so. Um, yeah, no, I okay. Yeah, exciting news. We did, we got our permanent residency. We were a little bit quiet about it just because um, we, we weren't like 100% sure we wanted the cards to come first, you know, and have it physically in our hand, but we can officially leave the country and come back into the country. We've been kind of stuck since October. Um, so yeah, it's only just come through and we are going to head across to the States next week before Taylor comes because there's a bunch of snacks and things that I want to pick up from Trader Joe's and we're out of our skincare that costs like the crack ton to, yeah. to ship, um, but so easy to pick up just an altar there. Um, and my, my skin favorite knife. coffee that I want. Skin's doing better. Yeah. Ignore the wrinkles. I don't think they knew that your skin ever wasn't doing better. Also, if you're in Vancouver, go see Parade, Ty's show. It is on until the 13th of April and it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. home but I have decided because I bought my stuff to change into it's just better to just change at home and then just go out for a walk it just kind of gave me that definitely 
hour long walk and probably around 5,000, 6,000 steps, but I can easily do that from home. So heading home now, that went really well. They didn't actually talk about my 31,000 steps a day challenge. They just talked about colon cancer awareness and uh, what are the signs and symptoms to look for. I asked a little bit about my journey, my experience, my symptoms. And the doctor was talking more about things from her side and what she sees as a doctor and that there are more increasing cases in younger people. Uh, so yeah, it went really well. It was a really positive experience. And yeah, let's head on with the rest of our day. Okay, we are already out getting the steps and typically I'll be further along in my steps than I am right now, just because I would have already gone out for an early morning walk. I would have been walking on my treadmill, but obviously with having the interview, I spent a lot of time kind of like sitting down and waiting and I wasn't going to march on the spot there or anything. So I am a bit behind. I'm only at about 4,000 steps and it is nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to use the next 45 minutes to an hour to get as many steps as I can. And then, oh, almost got run over. That's my fault. And then I'll be sitting down at my desk for a wee while. Then I'll walk to yoga, do yoga, walk home. A lot of days are different with this. Some days I feel I get them quite a bit earlier and then other days it pushes out later. But even still when I'm thinking that, oh my goodness, this is gonna push out later into the evening, it never does. I always get on top of it. So I'm not worried about it. It's day 25, we're getting into the final week. So yesterday marked the final week. I've just made some breakfast, just some banana and peanut butter on toast with some hemp hearts, some sea salt, and then also the, some golden syrup on top. Just did a couple of work bits at home in our time. I headed out to hot yoga. I had to remove all my makeup because I hate going into yoga and then dripping with sweat and part of that's makeup. I didn't do an amazing job. I just used this oil cleanser, but didn't double cleanse my face because after the shower, I'll, you know, do the full thing. Uh, but I also feel like the crows are having a go. Thank I also you. feel like when they've got the white towels that they provide and I'm wiping my face with a white towel and getting makeup all over it, I don't feel good about that. I know they bleach them, but I still just feel really stink about that. So hot yoga time. Look at these cherry blossoms. They're so beautiful. I am so excited for Taylor to come. It is two weeks today, but I'm really hoping that the cherry blossoms hang on. Some of the trees haven't bloomed yet, so I, I am hopeful that there's gonna be some areas that are in full bloom, but right now I can already see petals on the ground. And yeah, I just really want her to experience the streets that are lined with beautiful cherry blossoms it's just it's such a magical time of year so she's been here in winter yeah she's only come in november and that november was particularly wet we had lots of floods and then she came again in late february and it was quite gloomy she had some sunny days but it wasn't you know quite spring yet so it's definitely feeling like spring's coming a lot earlier lots of i can already see lots of green fresh shoots coming out on the trees and then like i said the cherry blossoms but i i do remember when mum and dad came a couple of years ago we did have cherry blossoms in may so maybe the different types of cherry blossoms some bloom earlier either way hang on taylor's not here yet This year, Ty and I are going to level up our outdoor patio area. <laughs> there he is. Um, so we're <laughs> thinking a friend of mine is gonna give me some seeds. I didn't tell you this, Ty, some wildflower seeds. So I'm gonna plant some myself, but we were also thinking of getting one of these just for the instant gratification of having one already going and then the other one, she's gonna give me wildflowers. So they're all gonna pop up different colors. But I'm not sure I just want pansies. There were some others up at Canadian Tire. Maybe we'll look at that one there. We're just going in to get some coffee though quickly. Then we're going to the fruit and veg store. That yoga class was tough. That was really spicy because not only were we doing lots of flows, because uh, it was like a power yoga class, more like vinyasa, generating a lot of heat in the body. And we moved through a lot of flows and that was spicy but then we did a lot of holds and a lot of balance work and that got Ty and I good and I noticed at one point because even though my watch was on theater mode I clicked it and my heart rate peaked up into the early 150s which it never does in hot yoga it would never really peak that high but I was probably holding my breath a little bit because I was trying to focus and balance 
but I'm feeling good after that. I definitely felt good to be in the room and I realized that part of the reason I think that I enjoy hot yoga so much and I feel that it's something that I'm loving adding into my routine at the moment is because when I'm in there, I really don't think about anything else. I'm definitely focused on the movement, my breath. There is so much for me to think about. Whereas, is there a squirrel? Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. Uh, whereas when I'm doing uh, another workout or I'm in another class, I often am thinking about other things that I need to be doing. And I try not to do that, but we're all guilty of being distracted by our lives outside of the gym or outside of that workout class. And I thought about that right at the end as we were coming out of Shavasana, she mentioned something saying, give yourself a bit of grace as you allow your mind to creep back into what you need to do next. And I thought, I've really not thought about what I have to do next. And that was a good feeling. So yeah, I'm really enjoying adding that at the moment. I was massively into it in February. Obviously I've had to peel it back quite a bit in March we're doing these steps because it's just been killing me to have to add additional exercise in. So on days when it happens, that's great, but I'm not forcing anything, you know? I've just been over at Sophie's house. She's obviously not here, she's in New Zealand, but I'm using her kitchen to film a little bit of content for Instagram, just for my business. Uh, so the house is an absolute mess because we're gonna move around the lounge again. I've loved this setup. I've got nuts in between my teeth, gross. I love this setup, but unfortunately where we've got it right now, aside from when it's really gloomy outside like it is now, there's a big glare on the TV. So we can't have that going into the warmer months where we're gonna have many more daylight hours. I've got a call soon with a client, so I'm just gonna try and get some steps in the treadmill first. And then I just feel like I got, I just had some everything but the bagel nuts and there's so many little bits, I'm really self-conscious. So Ty just got home. He just had a costume fitting, not for the current show he's doing for the next one. And he bought me, a box. Feels too heavy to be jewellery. <laughs> oh no. Woohoo! How do I open more of the box? Let me grab Let's it out for it you. Out. Is it something we can share? You can. Wow. It's pretty, yeah. Is it lemon? Lemon cream cake. Lemon cream cake. I, was lemon I am cream all cake. about she loves lemon cream cake. I'm all about lemon. Lemon is the vibe. I, yeah, this is gonna go straight down the hatch. Okay, I just clocked my 31,000 steps. It was a bit of a slog today because it started pouring with rain this afternoon, which meant all of my steps that I had to get this afternoon, which was around 13,000 all had to be done inside, which can be a little bit monotonous. I'm glad I got some earlier in the day before it started raining. Ty and I are gonna have a date night. Monday night is his only night off at the moment. It's the only night he's not doing the show. I'm out of breath because I really did just finish getting the steps. I made Ty clap me at the end. It's getting rough out here towards the end. This is day 25 and it just needed that extra little boost across the finish line. Um, but yeah, we've ordered some Thai food because like I said, it's date night and we're going to enjoy that. We're watching, is it fast? What What is the show Physical called again? Physical 100. Physical 100. It's in Korea? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it takes place in Korea and it's basically... A whole bunch of different athletes so you've got anyone from like a ufc fighter to an olympian swimmer and you've got wrestlers crossfitters you know a whole different variety of really athletic individuals competing in these super physical challenges until there's one standing at the end so it's really interesting we're only a couple of episodes in so far but ty watched the last season i don't think i need the context of the last season to watch this season and yeah, it's just a nice, rainy, cozy date night. Gonna enjoy our Thai food. Gonna maybe get some treats. Don't know yet, but we do have our little lemon cake treat. So, you know. Here's dinner. So I ordered a tofu pad Thai, pad CU, and then this pan and curry is so good. This is from Thai Basil. I think they've got a couple of locations. We've just got a small rice. Emphasis on the small man. That is, um, you know, a bit skimpy, but that's okay because we've got two noodle dishes. So this will be more than enough food for both of us and maybe a little bit of leftovers. But honestly, Thai's a hungry boy. I just made a ninja creamy and this is a different flavor. This one is banana, oat milk. I've got some vanilla in there. I've got a little bit of sugar-free jello and chocolate flavor. And then I've stirred in this some little meringue pieces 
and brownie bits in there as well because I actually made brownies yesterday just from a packet I'm not fancy and then I just added the the wet ingredients but I put one in here and it looks so good I'm just getting ready for bed and I'm making Thai and I tea. We've just been watching The Gentleman, but we're gonna go back to watching that physical 100 and then probably just read in bed. It's still relatively early, but just winding down for the night and I'm making some tea. The Gentleman is a good show, but I don't feel like it's a binge worthy TV series that you can kind of just watch back to back. You watch, I, we're watching sort of one episode a week at the moment. We're not very far in, which is how we used to watch our favorite TV shows before Netflix or any of these streaming services existed. I remember I used to love Grey's Anatomy. I haven't watched it in the longest time, but back in the day, loved Grey's Anatomy. And I think it was released on a Thursday night and I would wait. And if I was out that night, I would record it and then I'd watch it the next day. And it used to be exciting having your favorite TV show released once a week. Or the OC, we used to watch the OC on a Friday night. Anyway, if you know, you know. Um, I got this tea. I seem to have opened open the box a bit weird, but this tea is called Throat Comfort. I bought it because uh, Ty likes to drink tea when he's singing, but I really like the flavor and the taste of it too. It's caffeine free. Yogi tea is really good too. There's this calm one that I really like that somebody bought me when I had my last surgery. So I've got our two little cuppies here, a pink and a gray. Anyway. I'm gonna make these teas. We're gonna get into bed and call it a nice early night. I'm gonna read my book and I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I'm not really sure how long it was, but wanted to show you the exciting little interview that I had this morning and just check in in this crazy month. I haven't vlogged because genuinely I felt like all I am doing is just working and walking and it's felt a bit repetitive to share. But I'm glad that I was able to take you along today. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you all in my next.